Hi everyone, welcome to another one of our live videos. My name is Sydney and I'm the education programmer here at the Sydney Museum, which is located on the traditional territory of the Wasainich people, whose relationship to this land has lasted since time immemorial and continues to this day, and we are so honored to get to be here. So this week, we are headed to the high seas with set number 21322, the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. So this set was released just last year in 2020, and it contains 2,545 pieces. Now this is an ideas set, but it was inspired by sets from the really popular Pirates theme that ran from 1989 to 1997. So some of the colors, imagery, and even some of the minifigures are going to be familiar to anyone who's a fan of those older LEGO sets. Now it comes with eight minifigures, and we'll introduce them to you now. If you look right at the front here, we have Captain Redbeard. So he is one of the original pirates from the 1989 sets, but if you can see, it's been a couple years, so he actually has some gray in his beard now. And then if you look back up over here, we have another pirate who came from the original sets. That's Lady Anchor, and a tough woman you do not want to cross. And then just to the side here, that's Quartermaster Riggings. Now he's a new character, but he's based on a character from the original Pirates theme, uh, whose name was First Mate Rummy. And now if we look down at the bottom, that is Tatuga. Now, in the original Pirates theme, there was a minifigure that had a tattoo of an anchor on his chest. So this is him several years and several tattoos later. Now we've got a couple of new characters too. Uh, if you look back up over here, you can see Robin Loot, another tough woman on the crew. And then up in the crow's nest here, we have Jack Dark Shark Doubloons. And finally, rounding out our crew, we have down at the bottom here, the mustachioed magnificence of the Broadside Brothers. Their names are Port and Starboard. So those two are based off the generic pirates from the pirates theme. However, no one had as impressive a facial hair in 1989. So, as you can see, we have a lot happening here. This fort is supposed to look like it was built out of a shipwreck. And according to Lego, these pirates have been here for 30 years, so they've had a lot of time to get themselves comfortable. But we still have a lot of pieces of the ship that are really, really visible. You can see all the rigging still intact. Like I said, we have the crow's nest that Jack is up in here. And there are a couple of bits that still function too. If you look down on the side here, we have an anchor hanging off the side of the boat. And if you spin the wheel here, the anchor can be reeled in and down. Maybe the pirates want to use it as a booby trap. And we also have several cannons and they do still work. And yes, I'm going to fire one. So here we go. You just take one of the little cannonballs here, load it up and... <laughs> I have a lot of fun with some of these Lego sets. Now we have a lot happening out front for sure but there is even more happening below deck. Now, if you take a look at this bit right here, you can see we have a little sign that says Jose's Inn. That's because we have an inn on this island all set up. Now, the best way to look is down from the top under the deck. It's a little bit tricky to see, but we have an inn set up down there. There's a counter, there's a bed, there's a lot of drinks, anything a pirate's gonna need. Now, there's even more around back, so I'll spin this one for you. There we go. You take a look, you can see the rest of the inn just here. We got a couple of beds. Pirates need a place to sleep, so they're all set up and ready to go. Now, if you move over to the second section here, we got a storage area at the bottom, and there's a, actually a kitchen up at the top there, too. And then this bit's really cool. If you lift up the deck here and take a look down, you can see the captain's quarters. So this would be Redbeard's room. It's a little bit fancy, there's some treasure, but he's a pirate captain, they like their treasure. Now, this set might look a little familiar to people who are fans of the pirate sets. You might even recognize the ship that it's supposed to be built out of. And that's because this set is based on the 1989 pirate set, the Black Seas Barracuda. And something really cool that LEGO has done is they've made it so that you can rebuild this set into the Black Seas Barracuda if you want to. So you can take apart these pieces and restore the ship to her former glory. Now, doing that second build takes some time, so I'm not gonna do it right now. However, here at the museum, we do have the original 1989 Black Seas Barracuda on display, so I can show you that one. 
and here she is. So this is probably one of the most popular pirate ships that LEGO has ever made. So it's a pretty cool little nod that they've done with this set. And if you take a look, you can see it looks pretty similar. And if you rebuild this set, it creates a ship that looks almost exactly like this one. And right in the center, you might even see a familiar face. It's Captain Redbeard, right there, several years younger. So once again, LEGO leaves it up to the builder to decide what happens next. Are your pirates living it up on a pretty nice island? Or are they still sailing the high seas? Either way, adventure awaits. Thank you all for joining us this week. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments on this video and we'll answer them as soon as we can. And if you've been enjoying these videos and want to donate a little bit to the museum, we would really appreciate it. You can do so by visiting sydneymuseum.ca support. And a special thank you to everyone who's liked and shared these videos. It's a really fun way for us to engage with all of you. Well, that's it for me this week, but I will be back next time with even more LEGO. We will see everybody then, and happy International Women's Day! <laughs>